U.S. agriculture needs a fifth season. The inefficiencies across the supply chain from farm to truck to packer to supermarket and food service has fueled the burgeoning indoor farming industry, which in 2017 accounted for over $106 billion and is expected to reach $171 billion by 2026, according to the Worldwide Indoor Farming Market Report. Austin Webb, CEO and co-founder of Fifth Season, an indoor farming company based just outside of Pittsburgh, combines vertical farming with proprietary robotics and artificial intelligence, and he wants to disrupt the nation's produce marketplace and create an entirely new category of hyper-local fresh produce. He might do exactly that. To date, Fifth Season has raised more than $35 million and is supplying produce to the likes of Whole Foods and Giant Eagle supermarkets from their 25,000 square foot grow room that has twice the growing capacity of traditional vertical farms. He estimates that they will grow in this soilless hydroponic facility more than 500,000 pounds of produce in its first full year of operation. Fifth Season's produce is grown using up to 95% less water and 97% less land than conventional farming. Fifth Season is delivering its produce within hours of packaging, without pesticides, and has an average shelf life of weeks instead of the typical few days that produce actually lasts when it's shipped from California to the Midwest or to the East. Webb told me in a Zoom interview how they have achieved this higher output through the use of technology to develop a system where they can affordably and consistently create what he calls a whole new level of fresh experience. Currently, they grow spinach, arugula, cilantro, basil, parsley, and other specialty blends. Sensors throughout the growing area monitor every condition, humidity, pH, light, nutrient mix, and adjust each individual plant's needs. Fifth season is more of a tech startup than anything. It's a mind think that should wake up the industry. They have replaced human interaction inside of their growing rooms with robotics, which is how they've reduced the amount of space taken up in the aisles in the growing area and reduced a lot of the human labor from start to finish. These robots are able to do automated storage and retrieval of their products. And then in the processing and packaging areas, they're also integrated for automation from end to end, from seeding and controlling growing inputs to automated harvesting to the packaging. It all sits within the software skin, an integrated platform that they have built, which contains 40 different bots. Using technology to increase efficiency is just one part of it. The company is also using AI to both improve flavor and make produce more affordable. Retailers, Webb says, have embraced their concept. When we have conversations with retailers, they're really excited about how this could come in and really redefine the supply chain and start to actually provide access to the fresh food that folks want, he says.